Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to um, discuss, first of all, what is a truss? And second of all, uh, why do we use trusses in engineering? So we'll start off by having a quick look at what a truss is. So basically, a truss is uh, used to convert external loads into axial loads. So this is done uh, because materials such as steel and concrete, so the materials we'll mostly be using to construct things, um, can resist uh, much larger axial forces than shear and bending forces. So if we can remember the previous topic where we discussed axial shear and bending, uh, generally speaking, the axial forces, so the, um, the, the tension and the compression forces, um, a, a member is much better at uh, dealing with those than dealing with um, loads that cause uh, bending and shear. So uh, effectively what this means, um, again, it's unlikely we'll be using concrete in a truss. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever heard of that, but um, steel is probably the most common steel and aluminium, so the most common uh, truss materials. And basically we'll have really, really um, slender members, so really, really thin members that can support really quite large loads uh, because the trusses are designed to um, sort of eliminate any shear and bending forces um, and just take axial loads. So uh, I'll just look at a quick simple analogy to uh, try to make a little bit more sense of this concept just to make sure that um, everyone understands. So if we have this beam here, so we have this beam we're applying um, a hundred newton load right in the middle of it and we'll assume that this